to be testing Lodell's brand new suitcase. The Voja! What you get, what's this, what's that, and then we're going to get stuck into some very rigorous, unnecessary, and grueling tests. I am thinking suitcase slip and slide. Let's get started. First things first, this little information book was in an itinerary package. They've gone in on the travel theme. I mean, it's on brand. To activate your 10 year warranty on your Lodell product. Please register by scanning the QR code. Register your warranty because 10 years is good. I always thought those things were a little bit sketchy. I was like, oh. Matt and I spent a lot of money on suitcases and recently they busted and I contacted the brand and they were like, yeah, actually it is covered. Have some new suitcases, kids. 10 year warranty, it's real and it's worth it. Lock instructions, if you're like me, you just leave it on zero, zero, zero. And my theory is that no criminal would think of it because they'd be like, surely she changed it. As I understand that the locks are TSA approved. Size, small, medium, large. We'll talk about different sizes in a second. Secure, strong, and unexpectedly light. The Voges injection molded polypropylene shell. I don't actually know what that means, so I wikipedia polypropylene. It's one of those, you know those chairs? It's nearly indestructible. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Polypropylene is recyclable. So when you're done with it, just chug it in your recycling bin. These are some real heavy duty mother flippers. Look at that. There's no zip. We're going back to zipless. You know that thing when the, they don't match anymore? No zip means you can't bust the zip. It has these clips. So there's like a gray button here. You push it down, up. Oh my God. So you got the one on the side, one on the bottom, one on the top. While quiet running casters let you roll smoothly and quietly. I've never had one of these wheels break and I do terrible things to low gel suitcase wheels. A retractable handle tucks away for safekeeping. You want guns, hun? Ow! Oh, I jammed my hand in it! This case, the small, meets the common allowances for carry-on for most airlines. You know when you say like, it's that like gluten-free and somebody's like, well, we can't guarantee anything, but it's gluten-friendly, it's carry-on friendly. You guys always ask me, Phoebe, is it scratch resistant? <laughs> yeah, I can't see a mark on it. So let's get into it and see just how tough this thing is. Looking at them, the medium seems slightly smaller than a medium sized suitcase normally does and I would say the large seems slightly smaller too. I don't know if that's in my mind, I don't know if it's because it doesn't have zips, I'm not really sure. You know, if you want to check the dimensions against other suitcases, you're welcome to. I have to say, if I was only choosing one suitcase and it was going to be my constant forever use suitcase, I would go with the large. I feel like the medium is probably a little bit too small for me. I pack quite a bit of stuff. If you're a compact packer like Matt, you might be okay with the medium. So I just wanted to show you guys the inside of it. I really like this. I love the gray and it's got like um, some lighter tones through it. It's really textural. I love that. These are actually really good. I've used these before. Clip those in and then you just pull it tight like that to secure your stuff inside. They've got some extra zips. Again, there's another little zip section up here. So you can put some more valuables in there. And in here, this little compartment too. Oh, I see what you're doing, Logel, and I like it. Logel, you guys, you knew what you were signing up for. This isn't your first time. I don't know why you keep coming back and keep sending us these. Obviously, you're a little bit sick. And I respect that. I actually kind of like it. 